Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you for joining me on my channel and thank you for joining me for the Distress Oxide Colour Combination Series. Today we're going to be looking at Fired Brick, a lovely deep red. Now this colour we did touch on in the last video that I uploaded. I'm working through the Distress Oxide colours alphabetically. We're now on to Fired Brick and the last one was Festive Berries. So in Festive Berries, because it is a red, quite a pinky red but it is a red I did bring in fired brick a little bit just to show you a comparison so this is a really beautiful kind of deep red it's got a hint of I think a hint of brown in it as well it's also got a sort of orange base to it it's a very warm red so just show you this on white cardstock first of all now if you're new to these videos and new to the series I swatch each of the colors in turn um, I then go ahead and uh, do a comparison with some similar colours that are in the Distress range and I also then give you two wonderful, because I absolutely love these, uh, colour combinations that you can go and try out with different colours in the distre Distress Oxide range. So here is Fired Brick on white cardstock, look at that. So you can see how it's got that orange tone a little bit on going towards the brown side so it's not a bright bright uh, red either but definitely falls into the general reds there so that's the color on white obviously as we saw actually in the last video when you put these colors on black they do show up completely differently so well worth experimenting with that and also craft card stock as well but let's just take a little look at the clip from where i was actually comparing festive berries with the other reds because in fact the other reds that I would bring in to compare with this one fire brick are exactly the same selection so let's see how these all compared to each other when they were swatched from the last video so as you can see we've got a lot of similarities here a lot of ink pads that look very very similar and it's going to be hard for you to choose like I say particularly online if you're going through which ones to get next to stock up your stash um, but I've got here abandoned coral Barn Door, Candied Apple, Fired Brick and Lumberjack Plaid. Now, Fired Brick, when I see it like this with the other reds, to me it almost looks like a brown, a very rusty brown. But I have swatched these colours here for you, just so you can see them on paper. So you can see these colours, so uh, Abandoned Coral, very much pink, Barn Door, Candied Apple, Fired Brick, you can see more of that orangey brown tone there, and then Lumberjack Plaid is definitely a deep red now with each of these as well I have already been through three of these so abandoned coral barn door candied apple because they're alphabetically before festive berries we already have individual videos on each of these now link them up here or link the playlist at least so you can go and see all of those there we go so hopefully that gives you more of an idea of uh, how fired brick sits around the other reds definitely more on the brown side there so let's create a colour combination. Now I'm going to put Fired Brick down in the centre of my strip here because it's going to be the middle colour of all of these. So just working that into the cardstock. I always work around in little circles here just to capture the tooth of the cardstock surface. So all the little kind of nooks and crannies, if you use that term where you are, um, all the little bumps. I like to make sure that I've got everything colour completely coating it otherwise you're going to have little white areas and that's really evident at the edge here where I've just faded out I'm not worried about solid color you see that those sort of white patches that's what you would get in the middle if you didn't capture all the angles of the paper now the first color combination we're going to do is with dried marigold on one end so let's go on this larger panel here so this is a lovely orange color almost kind of an apricot color we do have this one already done uh, as its own color video so you can go and watch that and i really love the way these two colors mix together we've got this beautiful kind of coral peachy color going on it's absolutely beautiful now if i just cover that end up just those two together are stunning again very tropical i think we're getting a lot of tropical color blends coming in here just lately but a bit tropical kind of reminds me of maybe like peach melba perhaps your peaches and your raspberries um not quite as pink as raspberries but you get the idea really beautiful definitely a cocktail color that one isn't it and then i'm going to completely change the look of this color combination and i'm going to bring in ground espresso which is a dark dark brown so 
We'll get to ground espresso quite soon actually because it's a G. It won't be too long before we'll be touching on that. So now really darkening this colour combination up with that ground espresso. I don't want to do too much of this so I'm going to keep it just to a small area just going up and touching the line of the red there and then see what I've got left on my brush here from the fired brick and yeah just enough to rub that in blend that through there we go so there's a color combination for you it always looks smoother once it's all dried out fully but you get the idea very fiery that one isn't it really true to its name fired brick I love that so if you want something autumnal that would be absolutely perfect I think this would look beautiful speckled with maybe some gold paint flicked over there It'd look amazing or some gold embossing so let's now put these away and let's move on to our second color combination now for this one I'm going to bring in uh, some different colors completely I'm actually going to be mixing red and blue which is a little bit different so I'm going to be popping my red into the middle there so I've got I, th I think I will I can't decide I think is very no I think I will stick with fired brick on the end there purely because and this is my color theory here purely because um, we're going into blues we've got aged mahogany here which is it's kind of touching on purple it's almost got a blue base there whereas fired brick really hasn't fired brick will work nicely into aged mahogany um, this is kind of almost a burgundy color which leads into blue lovely but the orange base in fired brick is going to be difficult more difficult to mix into blue so that's the reason i'm going to do it in this direction and sometimes i just have to stop and think about that color theory a little bit think about the undertones for each color and which ones will mix easier with others so let's lay down fired brick first of all Want a good amount of that um, let's keep lots on my brush we may need that for blending in a moment then into uh, aged mahogany and this is the red the deep red that's got a really good amount of sort of blue in it as well I think sort of getting towards a purple color and aged mahogany does already have its own video up so you can go and check that out if you've not come across this color before or you're thinking about maybe adding it to your stash and with what I had left on my brush I'm just going to mix between the two there not applying any more ink making sure I don't come right up to the top of the red hair because if I go into the fired brick with too much of the uh, aged mahogany I'm just going to lose it completely to apply a bit more aged mahogany there didn't really seem deep enough and again just do my blending here okay happy enough with that now because I'm going to be next going into the blues I'm going to clean the red off my mat so just a wet tissue and then wipe it dry to ensure that the water on the mat doesn't react with your inks at all look at that again a really lovely combination the two of those that would be beautiful at Christmas time if you're doing something like poinsettias it would be stunning so then we're going to go into my all-time favorite color and that's uncharted mariner now mixing the aged mahogany into an uncharted mariner is a little more difficult because as you can see they are extremely different different colors to each other but because they are deep colors it does work they do work really nicely making sure I'm leaving enough here for the uh, last color the salvage patina bringing that blue up into the red a bit but I don't want to go any further because again I don't want to lose the uh, aged mahogany I'm just going to go across that line with a bit more on my brush and bring that down and to be honest just keep working the two the blended lines between both making sure you've got a nice even balance of the red to blue until you're happy that that has faded so there's a nice uh, three color combination for you using fired brick aged mahogany and into uncharted mariner you can see the wet patch on there hope that you can just see that shiny wet patch there that does kind of distort the look of it but when it's all dry you kind of get this lovely creamy softer look to the color blends now again i'm just going to clean this off ready for the last color and that's going to be salvage patina as i've said um, again was actually one of my favorite colors until uncharted mariner came along 
so I really do love my blues and greens now this one is a paler color and it does take a little more work to blend it in and apply the color nice and solid because it's lighter so working again in those small circles not worrying about going over the edge and I always make sure that when I'm doing my ink blending if I'm blending on a panel I make sure I have got a bigger panel than I'm going to need so that I can blend over the edge and then cut out or trim away the bit that I want afterwards so just blending Uncharted Mariner with what's on my brush into the blue there that's not too bad actually I might just pick up a little touch more and make sure I've got some solid Uncharted Mariner through the middle there that is gorgeous I'm in love with that combination actually I thought it would be nice but I didn't realize it would be that nice and I think that little pop of color the blue on the end really does set it apart so let's just take a look at this there we go isn't that lovely whichever way round you wish to look at it absolutely beautiful so that was salvage patina uncharted mariner aged mahogany and fired brick and then we've got the other combination here which was ground espresso and dried marigold with fired brick in the middle so you've got all of those there aren't they just absolutely beautiful so if you love fired brick you can find a link down below to uh, where I purchased my Distress Oxides from at Craft Stash, but also the brushes that I've been using, the clear blending mats that I've been using as well. And I have got my free download on my website that's linked below, and that will give you access to a colour swatch chart for Distress Oxides that you can print off at home and fill out also. So thank you so much for joining me, everybody. I hope you love this colour fired brick as much as I do. I'd love it if you could give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please do subscribe as well if you want to keep on top of all the videos as and when they come out. Make sure you check back that playlist as regularly as possible. I'll see you all again very, very soon. We're really rattling through these videos now so another day or two I will have another one. Take care everybody. See you soon.